Hey guys, um, so it's Paul with the Ugly Motel, and uh, it's been a heck of a week. As the title to this video, I'm sure, uh, suggests, we've been faced with some interesting decisions lately. Um, originally, the, the plan was to open up the annex when it was ready to rent, and uh, then we'd work on the hotel. Unfortunately, uh, the mayor's problem resolution team uh, has decided that it'd make more sense for us to finish the hotel completely before opening up the back portion of the, uh, the, the hotel, the annex that's, that's finished. Uh, so that's frustrating because there's there's quite a few people that are reaching out to me um, that need affordable housing and Lincoln's going through a housing crisis right now and um, you know it, 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 it's very unfortunate. We're, we're trying to meet with the mayor um, to try to get her to kind of overrule this um, and to show them that we're um, you know, we're providing a service that people need and we're still gonna get the hotel side done. They don't need any extra carrots on sticks for us. Um, so, that's stressful, that's anxiety inducing, um, but it hasn't really slowed us down. Um, we have made some progress and we're still, you know, plugging along. Um, I'm hoping that this provides, you know, a, a really good opportunity for our mayor to show um, that she cares for the homeless population here in Lincoln um, and those that are having you know trouble finding affordable housing um, and also small business I, I know that um, there's a lot of other small businesses in Lincoln they all have needs um, and that you know nobody should get any special attention but at the same time you know hey I've been surviving for seven years before the, uh, the city decided to um, get involved and most businesses don't last that long I mean it's it's a heck of a struggle just to get to that point and to have my plans all shattered um, is kind of frustrating. But again, you know, we, we roll with the punches. So um, let me just show you guys what we're doing uh, this week. Kind of give you an update of uh, the projects we have been doing. All right, so my main hotel here. Um, this new choice that I've been given kind of, kind of gives me limited options. Either A, I spend the rest of my savings account and, and hope that, uh, um, the city will let me open up when it's all done uh, or B knock it down knock down this whole hotel so, And then just open up that back annex um, That we finished That would actually ultimately uh, leave me with a, I guess a profit positive cash flow and any sensible human being would probably choose that option um, But of course, I, I'm not that normal human being I can't just kind of give up like that. So um here, here's what we've been doing. Okay, so all these hallways, all the outside hallways are now empty. So that's not really the fun part. The fun part is, which door color should I go with? So this is like a black, it almost looks kind of like a purple in the right light. It's actually just like a blackish brown. Um, obviously we only did one coat because we're gonna be changing the color of one of these. Then we did a siding and a trim kind of color. Um, this one looks really kind of classy, I like it. Very professional. And then this one, I think is a lot more fun. It's the blue, it's the white. And obviously we'll be cutting in our edges and everything. Um, but we gotta decide on which makes the most sense and which is, uh, Travel Lodge can actually let us go with. Again, I think in the video it kind of looks like it. It almost looks like a cream of my coffee color, but in person it's kind of a grayish, like a gray tannish. Um, and this one looks a lot more gray than it does in the photo. You guys are welcome to drive by. I've had a lot of people driving by and just looking at it. And, uh, you know, we're okay with that. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing here over next week is going through and repairing all this concrete stuff. Make sure it all looks good. As you can tell, I've already ripped out all the carpet inside these rooms. 
So the city's main uh, requirement of us is they just want to have everything operational. So my thought is, let's get it operational. I might not open up the hotel side until I'm 100% happy with it, but at least uh, the city will be happy with operation. Um, again, my plan would be not to do the glass until the spring because it does add an extra barrier for heat if I'm working in these hallways. Um, I can keep space heaters in the hallways to let concrete dry and stuff. Um, but um, yeah, so the project's changed a little bit. Kind of discouraged me for a little bit. Um, those of you that follow me on my, my personal Facebook page too, um, you know that another crazy thing that happened this week was my dog got cancer, oh so. Um, and we, we had it removed, which is awesome. And I really appreciate Dr. Ann for, for taking that out. Um, and of course, my stubborn dog um, has been able to get around his e-collar. He's pulled out a couple of his staples. So today, <laughs> we're going back up to Columbus to, uh, to try to get him uh, taken care of again. So, I mean, he's got an extra large uh, dog collar on. He's got, you know, a massive thing. He shouldn't <laughs> be able to reach those staples, but um, he has. So I kind of made a diaper on him. Um, anyhow, besides this property, we've also been trying to fix up a, a fourplex I have, trying to make it look a little bit better. Um, we're not going to paint that till next spring, but um, you know, just with my spinal surgery and everything, I've been I've been playing catch up a lot, and uh, I want to make sure I don't make anybody else angry at me. So, anyhow, that's kind of our update. Let me show you a little bit of what we've been doing. Uh, I like breaking stuff, and it's good for a stressful week. So this is what we've been doing. Uh, this whole week to make these hallways and rooms empty. Cause I had a bad day, I am angry, throw all my furniture away, and I don't care, let it tear, let it break apart right there. I had a bad day, yeah. Oh, you got this. This blue is as intense as the other blue. I found a blue I think Travelodge will agree with. I'm changing it because honestly that tan is the same tan that they wanted us to paint it. And I'm like, no. So we'll be asking for some exceptions. But I think this will look good. And still using the Travelodge blue. And you'll see what we do at the end. Actually, I'll probably just super fast forward it now and you'll see what took us days to do, you'll see it in a second. 